Hello, everybody. Uh, welcome to my channel where I share ideas and information and news that my community can use. Today, I have a special guest, Mr. Wayne Williams, who is an insurance professional. And we have got lots of good things to talk about uh, uh, pertaining to his business. But right now, I would like to introduce you to Mr. Wayne Williams. Wayne, uh, can you give us uh, just a little bit of information about you, um, where you live, and anything you want to share with uh, my community? Yeah, I can give you a little bit about myself a little bit. Uh, one thing I want to start out with, um, I do live here in Atlanta. Uh, I've been in Atlanta for about seven months. Uh, prior to Atlanta, I lived in the Dominican Republic for uh, approximately a year, year and a half. Uh, and we opened up a restaurant out there in Dominican Republic called BBQ USA. Uh, so that's what I did the last year. Yeah, so I chance to do that and that was a lot of fun. Uh, I got several partners that's in the business. So basically they running it at this time. Uh, but yeah, I've been able to get back here and, and get my insurance business back, back up and running and, and, and so forth. And, uh, you know, like I say, I'm just, I'm here with my, with my family, uh, my daughter, Diamond, and my grandson, James. And then I have another grandson, uh, uh, Skyler, which is my son, Wayne Jr.'s uh, son. Oh, awesome. That was exciting. Going to the Dominican Republic and opening up a restaurant. So uh, did you have experience in the restaurant business prior to going there? Well, yeah, I owned a restaurant. I owned a, uh, I had a, a mobile trailer here in Atlanta uh, years ago. And um, I sold barbecue with my big trailer. And I uh, that's how that's how my partners came and got me again because they know they know what my barbecue tastes like. Sure, and I say I see you you're you just like my friend Chris, your sister. She likes adventure and like to travel too. So <laughs> see where she, it's it's yeah, it, it runs yeah. in the family. And my sister a lot of life. <laughs> <laughs> Well, as I mentioned before, Wayne yeah. is an insurance professional. So, Wayne, can you give us just a little bit of information about your insurance business, uh, how you got started, and how long you've been in the business? I got started with a company called Merrilife. That's who. That's where I got started. That's where I got my license through, uh, and then I went. I went to be an independent. Okay, mm -hmm. uh, not much longer after that all my training from them and uh yeah i mean i've been in insurance business about eight years now and uh been pretty good at it and uh yeah i've been pretty good at it and i enjoy it. i think i did medicare uh for two years uh i enjoy deal dealing with seniors but at the same time uh uh, uh life insurance is pretty much my niche you know, that's right. what I like. That's what I enjoy. I enjoy helping people. And uh, I definitely want to make sure, you know, nobody has, you know, sitting there with, with no, you know, with no insurance and so forth. So I try my best to help as many families as I can. Well, that's awesome. Can you tell me um, one key thing that everyone should know about life insurance coverage? Everyone should know that they need it. We all gonna die. You don't wanna leave that burden on your family because I tell you right now, uh, GoFundMe and all these other avenues of begging somebody to pay for that, uh, when we know we all gonna pass through this life uh, is absurd. I really, really believe, like I say, I try my best to help as many people as I can to get some coverage. I don't care if it's a small piece of coverage. Something is more than nothing. Uh, you, don't wanna, you don't wanna have that burden on your children uh, Cause I see it all the time. I just had a family member uh, just die, and and a friend, uh, a friend of mine that, that I played college football at University of Florida, and I just found out that that he came through Atlanta was in a car wreck, and uh, you know, and then you know, a couple of days before that, a, a, a good buddy of mine, a good f fishing buddy of mine, that when I was in Tampa, uh, he passed away. He was a young dude, mm -hmm. and uh, like I said, no insurance and so forth. It's just sickening. You know, because like I say, we all think we're young and we go, we, we're just going to live forever. 
But if you can get some insurance uh, when you're younger, it's a lot less expensive than if, when you wait till you you're about close to, to your demise. Right. Well, uh, somebody explained it a long time ago to me like uh, like this. It says, when we are born, we are given a ticket to ride on a train. Right. Yet, we never know when the conductor is going to come and collect our ticket. It could be as soon as you get on the train or it could be for a long ride, but you have to be ready when they come and collect that ticket. So, you know, uh, you know, it's it's so sad today. Uh, uh, a lot of the younger people, say the millennials and et cetera, um, they don't value uh, taking steps to do the necessary things in life. They, they put so much value on, you know, today to now, today and now, what can I, what can I get right now? What can I do right now? How can I look right now? And it's okay to have things and to do things and to and to look good as long as you got everything else lined up. So right. the, one of the key things is getting people to understand the importance of things like life insurance and things like saving uh for a retirement fund or an emergency fund and things like that. So, you know, we've got to get that message over, you know, to the younger generation so that they can understand how to prepare for the inevitable. What would you consider some of the misconceptions that people have about life insurance? Most people think that they got to shop price, 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 Okay, and that's what it's about. With senior life, we have what we call a legacy package. And the legacy package, actually, mm -hmm. uh, if anybody has done a, uh, a burial or whatnot, they know it's expensive. Going to the funeral mm -hmm. home, buying the casket. I remember when my mother passed away, I know we paid uh, $6,000 for her casket. Uh, wow. And then, of course, we had to get her plot and, and all that kind of thing. So we end up spending about $15,000, you know. Right. And uh, here with Senior Life, we have what we call a legacy program. And that legacy program will actually be able to get just like 80 gauge uh, caskets for uh, about $2,000. Okay, so that's going to uh -huh. save you on a policy. If you decide that you want to do a burial or whatnot, uh, of course, with Legacy, is our sister company that we own. Uh, you'll be able to get all your uh, your hardware uh, as for it be a, a wholesale price, and it's locked in for life. They still will have the same price point, two thousand dollars for a casket. Uh, like I say, a lot of people will go and get insurance, and and uh, by coming with senior life, they'll get that legacy piece, and they'll get the wholesale piece. Like I did with my mother, if I had legacy when I was in, you know, when my mother was living. Uh, I would have been able to get get her casket for two thousand dollars, okay? Right. But unfortunately, again, we the, the, a few of them been marked up, and, and of course, we went right in and, and spent the six thousand dollars right off the front. It's like you said, uh, you know, we have to prepare for the inevitable. Uh, we don't have any control over when our number is going to be called up. and uh, we just don't want to leave that burden on our family member. So uh, tell me what, right. you mentioned the legacy plan. What other types of yeah. uh, insurance coverage do you provide? Well, what we provide is the best piece is going to be whole life coverage. We try to try our best to get our uh, members in a day one policy. That means once they pay for it today, their policy kicks in today. Uh, right. That's very, that's very important because a lot of companies out there, uh, I can go on and on and on. Uh, of course, it's a two-year wait. Okay, I had uh, I had a, uh, my mother's sister, my aunt died, and uh, she had she had a two-year wait because she was ill. She waited till she was you know sickly. So uh, when she passed away, she she was one month away from being able to get the policy to mature. You know, right. so we, they gave back the beneficiary and gave her daughter back. You know all the money that, that they paid in, which was no more than about a, about a thousand dollars. Right. And uh, 
Yeah, it just wasn't enough. So, of course, we had to do a, a fish fry and all the other stuff to, to try to pay for it. Yeah. Like I said, what we try to do our, our best is to do about it in a day one policy. That's our goal. Uh, and a lot of people qualify for that through senior life where a lot of companies will turn them down. Uh, somebody with diabetes and, 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 and take an insulin or whatnot, uh, they still can get approved through senior life. Okay, so your your policy, your senior life policy covers uh, pre-existing conditions. We asked uh, several questions uh, and that did, will determine, you know, of course, uh, if you got qualified, you'll know right away. Um, uh, and that's the main thing. You want to get qualified. You don't want to just jump on a two-year plan, you know, and paying money into it, and then, and then you mess around and don't have the right plan. Whole life policy is the way to go. Period. Right. So you offer um, final expense, and then you offer whole life. Um, are there any other types of uh, coverage that you offer? Well, we, all, we do offer other plans. Uh, we have term plans. I was planning on living to be 85, 90 years old. They want a plan that's going to cover them until, that, <laughs> until they demise. Okay, our plans go up to 100 years old. Okay. Yeah, so you don't want to, you know, with term life, we, we usually offer that to somebody, you know, that's younger. Somebody that has a home and they want to protect their home, you know, just in case they want to protect their home. So the term, that's a good plan for a young person. You know, 40s, 45, something like that is about the maximum to go. Uh, but like I say, if you outlive that plan, uh, we have a plan called Return Premium. Okay, that Return oh, yeah. Premium plan, okay, it, it, you'll, be able to, you'll be able to get everything you paid into it plus 6%. So that's like a high power oh. uh, sale, uh, high power uh, uh, plan. So that would be like a savings yes. plan, you like know, if you were able to get, get all your money back uh, if you had a policy for like 20 years and, and um, then it's coming up on the end of his term and then you can at least get your money back. That would be a better situation than just straight term. <laughs> what states do you offer your oh life insurance? Is it right. just in Atlanta? No, I'm licensed, uh, I'm licensed in 30 different states. Oh, okay. So I'm licensed right. in a lot of different states. Yeah. So yeah, I'm, I'm licensed in 30 different states. Uh, okay. So you you offer services, uh, insurance coverage um, for Atlanta and then uh, 29 other states. So people from all over can reach out to you and uh, see what um, kind of service would be better that you could share with them. Yeah, oh. and uh, here at Senior Life, we are hiring. So, you know, like I say, if somebody that's a, a licensed professional, they don't want to miss this opportunity. I mean, we offer up to 150% commission. That was, that, was, that was my next question. <laughs> yeah, 150% commission. I've been in the business for quite a while, and I've never seen a uh, a pay plan like like Senior Life. And we also, uh, we like to, we like to build, help build up, you know, build teams. So, uh, this is the best opportunity that I've seen, and, 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 and for me being in the business this long, it, it took me this long just to find it. So, I think I'm at the right place. Right. <laughs> well, it sounds like uh, somebody could really benefit uh, by getting in contact with you to either get coverage for themselves or learn how they can make money by helping others. So, Wayne, uh, would you like to share your contact information if? anyone has questions for either getting a policy or learning how they can uh, join join your team yes that'd be great let me give you my number my number is going to be 470-818-3095 if you're looking for insurance or if you're looking to maybe uh, join a team either way give me a call anytime Okay, so do you have um, uh, an email contact where people could uh, reach out for information? Yes, of course. CCGator23 at yahoo.com. CCGator23 okay, okay. at yahoo.com. All right, all right. Sounds like somebody's from Florida. <laughs> I would, well, I'm, I will. Uh, I play ball. I play football at the University of Florida. So CC Gator means can't catch Gator twenty three. That was my number. 
<laughs> oh, that's where that come from. <laughs> yes. All right. Well, listen, Wayne, I really do appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to uh, come and share information with people about getting the proper coverage in place, whether it is for final expenses or getting life insurance and uh, offering people the opportunity to join your team so they can learn how they can help others to uh, make sure that they have the proper coverage because GoFundMe is not the way to cover for final expenses. Well, I'm gonna, no. I want to uh, encourage you to get in contact with Wayne through either his phone number that he's listed there or his email if you uh, want to get information for him from him about uh, coverage for yourself or taking advantage of an opportunity and also my good friends i would like to invite you to like subscribe and hit the bell on this video so that we can share this information with others again wayne thank you for your time and so until next time this is linda nias